welcome to episode six of the Yarn Pin <gasps> Podcast. Is it six already? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, that yeah. went fast. Mm-hmm. This is Kay Paz. Hi, I'm and Danielle. I'm Danielle, Gemma Darling. Mm-hmm. Um, today we're going to show you some stuff that came into the store. We have a special guest. He's not the conventional special guest, Mm-mm. so it's something different. And, um, oh, look at this. Look at the stuff you got. I know. All the stuff is all over the table. We're yes. like, ah. Uh, so, do? let's just jump right into it. Okay. So, this week you got Skein Queen. Skein Queen, and she's from Scotland, Deborah Orr. Um, she only used to sell online usually, and when in, I used to buy her stuff previously before owning a store. Um, I did meet her in Edinburgh, but I didn't know she was doing wholesale. She didn't do then, and now she just started doing wholesale, so I'm her first United States store. Mm-hmm. We probably, we got 100 skeins. Um, I don't have many left. Really? They blew out in four days. Those two, that's all yeah, you have left? Yeah, that's all I have left. <gasps> so I need to message her later and say, just make me another hundred. These are gorgeous. They're gorgeous. So I was making kits for, and now this one's mine though. Oh, those are yours? This is mine. Okay, because I put it up there this week for the um, Boylan Networks, the Sunset Highway sweater. And um, one customer said, I saw that you got Skin Queen on. Could you do your work for me and make me a fabulous kit? And she um, is in Tennessee. And we've been rivalry friends for like years. We've never met. And um, I said, sure. And I made her a kit. So, and then you're, again, I'm plugging yarn catcher. She's making one too with our yarn. Is that cool? It's beautiful. So this is my kit. So this is going to be... Like this, I think, like that, or, mm-hmm. So this is the color work, and that would be the body? Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, and this will be between. Oh, and it's on the I might, too. Yeah, and I might oh. play with the color. You know, I'm not sure. I might take one out, add one. I don't know. But I love this as the body of the sweater, so it just all flows like this, I think. You know, so. Those colors are beautiful. Mm-hmm. I so. love the neutral tones yes. of this skein, Queen. I mean, look at look these. Look at these. They're gorgeous. Yeah. It's very, very fall. And then I noticed beautiful. on Instagram, she's been posting the past couple days brights. I go, you bright colors? Why didn't you offer them to me? I know, right? But, You're um, the yeah. queen of bright colors, but it's mm-hmm. nice to have a mix because mm-hmm. when people come in here and they're Yeah, they're going crazy innocent. over this. They're just really going crazy. So um, I'm going to order more. I love it. Yeah, it's really pretty. It. It's so mm-hmm. soft. Oh, my gosh. We have a few boxes of other stuff that ship that hasn't come yet from other companies. So that'll be in this week. Okay, so then and we'll do a podcast next week. Mm-hmm. Well, we've got a lot of trunk shows coming up. Next so that's why we wanted to Vital stick in Vital Lifestyles. Yeah. Right, uh-huh. Vital Lifestyles is coming. Just and if you look it up, I'm going to put it in the down bar because I was trying and trying and trying to find her on Instagram. Instagram. She has a, a l- an underscore score. in between Vita and right. Lifestyle. Right, she made me a color yesterday. Mm-hmm. Pimp your popsicle. <laughs> that name is hysterical. It's on Instagram, the color. She's bringing it. And mm-hmm. she's going to have kits next Saturday. Oh, she's really? She's here from 11 to 3. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay so, so please stop in and support her. She lives in Staten Island. She's cute and very sweet young girl. And, and then the weekend should... after that... Yarn Habits yarn Iris. Yarn Habits Iris is back. So mm-hmm. stop by for some gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. Mm-hmm. I love her yarn. Iris is doing kits, too. I talked her into it. Yeah, kits make sense because it's really hard A lot for of sweat. You know, sweaters are coming out now. So, you know, we're getting ready for fall. And mm-hmm. these kits, I mean, you could just do this sweater. Mm-hmm. Like, they're so easy. And with hand-dyed yarn, I could even make you one from the Wall of Hedgehog, so you just have to let me know what you want, and I'll do that next week. Yeah, is everyone mm-hmm. getting their uh, Rhinebeck sweaters going? Because if you're not, mm-hmm. you're not going to finish it. No. Mm-mm. Yeah. Unless so. you're Christy Glass and you make a sweater every 10 no, minutes. I have two on my needles. My so faded, and I just got to move my height behind, and I just got to move on my shishui shrug. It's, I have like over 400 stitches now. It's moving so slow it per is. row. It, especially because it's brioche, so you have to do it yeah. twice, right? Oh my like, god. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And then we got also, you can do the Woolberry. Oh, yeah. She's got gorgeous. Oh, there's my BPN. Single ply. Mm-hmm. So, Woolberry Fiber Company came Is this beautiful? Look at that. Mm-hmm. Those 100 skeins, too. I made kits for the What the Fade oh my gosh. shawl and sold a bunch of those this week. This is so soft. And these colors are mm-hmm. like, look at this. It's like buttercream. Mm-hmm. I love it. So soft. Yeah. So, and they're muted, and that's good, because not everybody wants the bright. Right. People want all different types, mm-hmm. and especially since fall is coming. Coming, right. Yeah, they're gorgeous colors for fall. Again, you could do that sweater in this. Yeah. I'm totally looking, agree. I'm just looking at kits running through my head now. 
So as we said that. She's and got kits on the brain lately. Mm -hmm. Kits on the brain. Kits yeah, on and the if brain. you haven't noticed, her Instagram is completely full of kits. First come, first serve. Mm -hmm. So if you want one, again, call with your credit card and send them right out to you. You know, and we try to answer every call. You know, it was a little crazy last week. Um, but we're trying our best. You're, she's, so. she's hustling. So if you're not getting through, just keep trying. Mm -hmm. It's not because no one's answering the phone. Right. It's, it's just that we're on the phone trying to get another customer's kit through, you know, yeah. rung up. So mm -hmm. just keep trying. So then you got a couple little tchotchkes this mm -hmm. week that little are so tchotchkes. adorable. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. I look at this. They're stitch markers. Somebody now carries Sucra Sucra miniatures. Mm -hmm. And more popsicle. are coming. She shipped today or tomorrow. <gasps> she has the avocado. I know. We had tacos in there, pizza. We got the here. hostess cupcake is gone. <gasps> Cheeseburgers. Cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. Cheeseburger. S'mores. Is the s'more still in there? Uh, I don't know. Yes. Are, yeah. Yes. I'm gonna, can you are see they cool? it? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I think so. I have a box of them at home. I collect them. I, I love, love them. them. So. With chocolate popsicles. Ooh. <laughs> An eclair. I love them. Now I'm getting hungry. Yeah. There's so a, oh, a baked potato. Baked potato's good. We had a bagel with cream cheese. That's gone. <laughs> The cream cheese was on the butter knife. Really? <laughs> so cute. Somebody bought it. Oh, I was holding it upside down. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I love baked potatoes. The mm -hmm. only thing I could eat in my first trimester when I was pregnant. That was mm -hmm. the only thing. And I still like them, which, you know, most people hate the only thing they can eat. And then you got back in your needle gauges. Mm hmm Yep. Which I have your mine. Twinkles. I have mine right here. I love it's them. It's in here somewhere. I use so it good. all the time. Right. It's so good. Mm -hmm. And then, what are these? Those are stitch markers. Look We've just brought in Brooklyn Haberdashery. Look at these cute stitch markers. Look at them. Mm -hmm. Little pom-poms. Little pom-pom stitch markers. They're cute. And then we got her tapestry needles. Well, they're in here. There's they're a inside there. There's a few, like four or five. But this is great that mm -hmm. it comes with this. Yes, in the wooden case. Because I can never find them. Mm -hmm. And then we got the leather, that's not hers, but the leather case with stitch markers So it's in a little it. triangle. And then there's, Daniel will dump out a little stitch mark and we'll hold it. There you go. And yeah, you could see those. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, she lost one. Stitch marker down. So, uh, yeah, we got this that. This is soft leather. I know, it's, it's really so nice. nice. And those are by my front desk. They're in a cute little cubby thingy. Yeah, when you come in here, if you want any of the little tchotchkes, they're usually by the I register. keep them because, you know, it's like a candy store. you got to, like, keep <laughs> them in all this tchotchkes You go get your yarn, and then you go to check out. And, and you're like, oh, my God, you have this? Oh, my God, where did you get that? And this, and, and this, this, and then, right. And then she's got the wrist rulers. Wrist ruler. Mm -hmm. Yes. Those are in. Cool. We sold out probably a lot of them. I have a bunch of different you sizes. This 15, 16, 17, and then it just... Mm -hmm. So it goes like that. Yeah. A lot of people are wearing these now, but you know, right. you can get we them at Do You Knit. Yeah. And then, so you know we've been uh, calling everyone to send us socks, because mm -hmm. I'm going to yarn bomb your window soon. Right. So Even if you have one sock and you didn't finish the other one, send us the one sock. Yeah, just We're going to decorate one. the window. Just send us the one. I'm going to make mm -hmm. flowers out of them. Just send us socks. Mm -hmm. But we do, we're... Um, Karen received these socks. Look at these little jelly roll socks. I think they're done. They're done in hedgehog fibers. Hedgehog fibers. Mm -hmm. And yes, there's one that isn't. Dibadu is that, is that a brand? Mm hmm. Dibadu yeah. mm -hmm. is the I think the, the cuff part of the cuff. Yeah, the yellow. Right. But mm -hmm. look at these. Look how cute, cute they, they are. are. Jelly rolls. So cute. If I knew how to turn a heel, I would totally make them for you. And who sent this to you? Martina. Of dark, is that dark hair or dark hair? I have to look it up. I think it's dark hair. Dark hair. hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. dark, dark hair, hair knits. knits on Instagram. And, on and then she also made Ravelry, these cute little. she's dark hair. And she sent also these cute adorable little project, little project, project bags. bags. Mm -hmm. Look at They're them. They're cute. so cute. They're so cute. They're this one teensy. could go on your wrist. Those are really cute. Mm -hmm. Follow her Full on Instagram. Drawstring. Thank so you. So we just want to say thank you. Your thank sock you, will, socks will be either worn or going in the window. Mm -hmm. I thank love them. You. Send more. Thank send more. You. Everyone, just keep sending socks. Come send on. Socks. k pause needs socks. Okay. So show us what you're working on. Um, I'm still doing my shishui shrug, and it's coming out really slow. Because oh, that's brioche. You have to do everything brioche twice. Is, but look how big. It's like it's huge. huge. And I have like three oh, more. Oh, but you did so well on the sleeves. I know. I have three more repeats, and then... I think I take the sleeves off and put them on a holder. So I'm hoping that this just gets moved along. And then I started Stephen West Brio Chevron Blanket. So I'm doing that in Hedgehog. So I just cast it on because it's an I-cord. 
Oh. And then you have to pick up in the I cord. So I just start casting on for that. So that's a blanket, and I have all my yarn wound all in hedgehog. Oh my God, you have like a whole bag full of yarn. Yeah, a whole there. bag. All of this is filled and wound with hedgehog DK. So oh gonna, my God. And we're going to like. Look at this. You just it dump it out. Dump it out. <laughs> A lot of these are great, oh and um, <gasps> Bayada gave me some in Ireland, and I wound most of it. So yeah, these are colors oh, that are going in my blankie. <gasps> mm -hmm. So is it any particular one. order, or you just pick um, it up? Yeah. Well, this now is a potluck, and then this is going to go with it. Okay. Oh, I like, like that. This. So. Mm -hmm. And then I'll figure out what I want to do next. Pinky swear mm -hmm. and Harage Coo. But they all go. What's that one? This is a potluck. Oh, you just said it. Just that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So yeah. And hula hoop. Oof, uh huh. And this is a potluck I got in Ireland. So. And it's all DK. It's, it's all DK, and I'm on it. As soon as oh. I finish my I cord, I could pick up and start it. Oh my I, god. I'm twisted, of course, twisted <laughs> sister. <laughs> Birthday cake is stuck. Stuck. I'll fix that. Yeah. There we go. We'll fix it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fix anything. No. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we got gorgeous DK. If you want to make a brio chevron blanket. Yeah, the DK the, the DK hedgehog knits up is gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah, um, it absolutely knits up yeah. gorgeous. So I just have a bag full. Sorry, but this is what happens when you own do you knit. Oh my you god! You go home with yarn all the time. Mm -hmm. And now it's all messed up because I dumped it out. But yeah, I've been winding yarn all week. And these are still. I love this one too. This is a good one. Oh. This is called Calypso. This has to be in it. It's beautiful, right? That I have to wind pretty. that one. This is a potluck she gave me in Ireland. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty. Not pretty. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I scratched No, no, no. I needed Oracle because you should always put Oracle because it's got pink. It's got lime green. Oracle has to, mm -hmm. it has everything. Yeah. Look at this jelly. Is this yummy? This jelly is gorgeous. I just that's a pretty to... one. That's Isn't really that vibrant. I know. It's got to be Each in the of the bases mm -hmm. takes it differently. Look at this. Yeah. Just look. Oh, it just goes with everything. Beautiful. So, yeah. Um, and that's what I'm working on. What are you working on, babe? Well, I just cast on um, Kristen Vulenvine oh. Lehrer's Oracle Shawl. And let me just take a moment to talk about this girl because I, I love her. We love her. Yeah, we just absolutely I mean, love her. <gasps> Teacup ran away. <laughs> My so birthday. I'm sure a lot of you watch her podcast. It's the be all end all of podcasts. She's so and, adorable, um, sweet. She's yeah. The way she comes off on the podcast is how she is in real life. She is the sweetest person. Genuine. And I have been kind of going gaga over the shawl ever since I saw it at her trunk show. Yeah, here. So I went to buy it the other day on Ravelry, mm -hmm. and I'm winding the yarn, and I'm you know I have my iPhone, I'm sending it to my printer or whatever, and I was just about to buy it, and I saw that she sent it to me mm -hmm. as a thank you. Oh, and she, she sent it to me too. Yeah, as a she thank just you. sent it as a thank you, and to I'm us. so appreciative. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Kristen. Mm -hmm. um, she also gave us one to give away. To give away, do a giveaway. So mm -hmm. we're gonna be doing that in a couple minutes. I right. don't know. We have to think about like what. We want people to do. I don't you know, know. Like last time, everyone told us what they would do with the scheme. Mm -hmm. So maybe, I don't know. yeah. All right. Well, what colors will they use for her show? That's what I what think yarn. we should do. Mm -hmm. So this so is it so far. It. It's a little bit of a fiddly cast on because. Wait, what cast on was that? It's like the eyeball shawl cast on. Was it? That what was one? the eyeball shawl one? It was weird. I couldn't start it. This Somebody was, had to start it for me. I don't remember. I think it's in the pattern, but I didn't bring mm -hmm. the pattern with okay. me. Did I bring the pattern? No, I didn't. Okay. Of course. Um, you have to make a loop and leave it loose, and then you do this with a crochet hook. Oh, yes, I can't do that. Oh, yeah. my God. Kelly Friel, Fashion School Dropout, did mine. She me. did it for you? Is that I the couldn't. one that was when the I, Yeah, when I first started it, it just kept, I kept losing it. All of a sudden, I got it, then I didn't get it, then the phone was ringing. I couldn't <laughs> do it. Yeah, no, I sat alone, and usually I watch Netflix. I'm mm -hmm. Netflix and chill at night mm -hmm. once the kid is Once asleep. you get it, you're okay, right? Once mm -hmm. I got it, and I'm not, I hate DPNs. But you have to. Right, you have to start on DPNs. So that's what I have so the far. Mm -hmm. And there's a hole somewhere, but I looked at it, and it's not a hole. There's a stitch. I just have to, you know, figure out to. I mm -hmm. think it'll block Squirt. out. Yeah, it'll block yeah. out. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. so. I sold a few people this week yarn for this. Yeah, I think, off. yeah, if anyone wants some. Yeah, they came in here, and they got a gorgeous yarn. I'm sure you'd it. send it out if someone wanted to make Oracle. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just three yeah. skeins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. just let but us a know. lot of people came in, they were cast, they were wanted to cast on for it. So we sold a few. It's really a well-written pattern. I mean, I'm not a pro at reading knitting patterns. Mm -hmm. Hi, Reba. Your podcast. Yeah, come on in. Mm -hmm. Show us your whips. <laughs> Whip them out. Oh, my God. Wait till you see her so faded sweater. I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. So let me just show this, um, and then I'll, I'll stop talking. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Not at all. I'm so glad you're here. Um, these are three skeins of wool and vine yarn. This one is Grim, which is her. It's like it's like a total dark grayish black, and it's 
It's gorgeous. gorgeous. And this is goth day cake, which has purples and pinks, and it's just right up my alley. And turquoise and turquoise. Mm -hmm. And then this was a free swim, and I forget what she called it. I tangled the living crap out of this. It How? took me two hours to undo um, it. Why? What did you do? I, it got caught? No, I was, I was winding it, and the oh. ball just flew. And I was like, oh. So then I thought, all right, let me just start another ball, and then I'll just wind them all together. I had three balls of it at one point. I had a huge oh mess, and I'm like, calm down. Mm -hmm untangle it and I did right. because if it wasn't a free swim I probably would have chucked it in the garbage but you know you can't get another one and I thought it's just beautiful mm -hmm. so the three of them together are going to be my oracle and uh thank you so much Kristen again for the pattern I'm very very excited We're excited the pattern's beautiful yes, she put all these beautiful. different graphics and she's and good she does she's the photography really herself mm -hmm. yeah she's she's amazing she's really good so and then should we talk about the birthday party? Yeah, let's talk about whatever you want. Okay, so Saturday, September 9th is our five year anniversary. Mm -hmm. And Vul and Vine will be trunk showing again. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be so cake excited. and cookies. Cake and cookies, I'm gonna Levi get Levi is coming, Christy Glass is coming, because we're doing mm -hmm. an announcement with Christy Glass mm -hmm. for something. And um, yeah, we can't wait. And my mom will be there. Your mom. And, and I think the, Francesca's coming. Mm -hmm. so. And we're just going to be very busy. So Saturday, September 9th, mm -hmm. we can't wait. So it's the weekend after Labor Day. Because yes. this week was my five-year anniversary, but we like to put it off into the fall. Congratulations. Thank you. Yay! You'll be five years at DEK. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, so we just couldn't wait to tell everybody. So if you guys ever want to come visit the store, that's the weekend to come. They're mm -hmm. going to be a bunch of all stars. The yarn here. is going to be crazy. The store is going to be mad. Oh, did you order a lot of stuff to like pack the store? No. <laughs> There's stuff coming in every day. It's true. It's true. And then the following weekend, I have Andrea Mowry, so that's going to be. And you insane. have all. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Do you still have spots for the wine and cheese? Wine and cheese. Somebody signed up yesterday. I still have some okay. spots for. Okay. Okay. So twenty five dollars mm -hmm. if you want to come and just hang out. Mm -hmm. From five to seven with Andrea, mm -hmm. and then some people, you know, her new yarn, her new kit. Well, she's doing a. It's um. A KAL, so it's a mystery. Mm -hmm. so and that starts August 31st? The end of the month. And mm -hmm. then her class is here two weeks later. She'll be here all weekend. So if you signed up for the class and you're doing her KAL, there's a good time to get a little extra help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. that's true. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah, we can't wait. I'm We're excited. very excited. I, very I didn't excited. meet her at Vogue. I saw that she was at your booth Sweet. and I didn't get to meet her. But, Sweet, um, adorable. She's just... I mean, she's really revolutionized she, the knitting world this year mm, with the fade. Her husband takes all her pictures. It's so good. They're beautiful. Beautiful. He yeah. does great photography. You should yeah. follow him on Instagram. I should. I didn't know you could. Uh-huh. Yeah. He does beautiful photography. And, um, yeah. My friend Reba over here has been working. She's good. She finished You're going to come and be on the podcast? Yes. yes. Bring Say up a hello. chair. Come oh, on. I'm going to give you a chair. chair. Mm -hmm. You don't want to sit with us? It's okay. No. I just I'll do a guest. She's gonna do a guest appearance yeah, with her so faded sweater. Let's yeah. see. Get it in there. Nice. Can you get it in the camera? There you go. Oh, oh my God. God! Look at this. Reba. Reba. I'm look doing the that. sleeves now. Yeah. Look at this. Is this gorgeous? What are you doing in that? Is this skinny singles? Yes, skinny mm -hmm. singles. And I have some hedgehog, hedgehog and then and this some is yarn pimp. Yarn pimp yarn <gasps> right here. Oh, Summer vacay mm -hmm. and yarn pimp. Oh my God. Is that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Look at this. This is absolutely. You picked gorgeous colors. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, I the had a Rhinebeck little, sweater. I had a little help. Sure, <laughs> a little help. Is this stunning or what? Pimp Reba. I was pimp. She was pimp. I was pimped. <laughs> this is what it looks like on. Oh, oh my yeah. God. It's cool. Yeah. Look at it's that. Beautiful. Oh, it's it gorgeous? beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. And that fool's gold's going to look beautiful next year. Yes. Beautiful. It's, it's one of my it's colors. It's Congratulations. Yeah, beautiful, yes. beautiful. Oh, wait. You're wrapped around with um, DPNs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what are you making? This is the uh, the Vuln Vine oh, Oracle. Oh, the shawl. Oracle, the round one. And then I don't know if I'm gonna do this or not. My friend is having a 40th birthday in September, and I'm probably mm -hmm. not gonna finish this in time. Mm -hmm. I don't even know, Melanie, if you watch the podcast, but if you do, look away, because I wanted to do the Love You Baby shawl, but I don't think I'm there yet. I just, you know, I'm a newbie brioche, right? Oh my god! Brilliant. So I was looking up patterns, and I found this one, which Andrea. is Andrea Mowry, and uh -huh. it's called Marley. Mm -hmm. oh, it's and it says on it that it's good for Beginner? newbie brioche people because, oh. uh, and it is. I mean, I cast on once. I didn't like my cast on, so I'm going to do it again. Mm -hmm. But it's uh, a, it's kind of like the Love You Baby, but it doesn't have the short rows in it. Mm. 
So okay. it's like a triangle shawl. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And what's really, what I really like about the pattern is that at the end of each row, when you have like a couple stitches left, she tells you exactly what to do with them. So if you're a newbie brioche or you don't know on this side you knit it, on the other side you mm -hmm. slip them. Right. Like, but you know that probably right. if you do it all the time. Mm -hmm. So I saw, um, when I was trying to do some other brioche patterns, I, I would always have these stitches left and I had no idea what to do with them. Oh. But she tells you. To slip them. Yeah, but on on some sides you Steven. knit them and some oh, passes, oh, oh, right? Okay, gotcha. No, I, I mean yeah, on your right side you knit them. On your on the at the end of the row you slip them. Yeah, so but I didn't know that. When you start a new row. But hers tells you exactly at the end of each row. It says row A, row one B. Mm -hmm. It's like perfectly written. That's good to the, for a newbie brioche. She's so. good designer. Very she good. is a very good designer. I can't wait. We're going to be able to podcast her too. I'm so excited <gasps> for that. Yes, look and forward to that. And your is going to be in our podcast. But these mm -hmm. are the colors that mm -hmm. I chose for my friend. So oh, very nice. What cool. is this rusty nail? I rusty think rusty nail. Yeah, rusty mm -hmm. nail hedgehog skinny singles, mm -hmm. and this is dirty on purpose mm -hmm. wool and vine. And Pretty. so those two are going to be brioche at the top, and at the mm -hmm. bottom you do a marl oh. pass. And so I'm going to use these two. And I, this is Barnyard Knits... Uh, Sock. Something like Dirty Leopard, Dirty Cougar. Oh, I can't remember the name. Too. Yeah, I know. 28. I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. I, I literally don't know what this is. It's really is. pretty. Mm -hmm. But it's good. I think this is Garn, sir. It might be. I, have, I should start sir. bringing the labels, labels. for things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's what I'm going to do because my friend loves fall and she loves that's oranges. That's really pretty. So if you're a newbie briocher and you want a pattern Pick to do... Pick up the Marley shawl. Yeah. Marley. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. So that's that. What other things do we have up our sleeve? I don't know. I think that's it. So we got to tell you guys how to win the Vool and Vine pattern. Mm -hmm. So if you want to cast on Oracle and you just, you know... Give it a week or so, and like mm -hmm. maybe you'll win the pattern. Mm -hmm. So it was so sweet. I got this email from her um, saying that we can give it away right. to celebrate she our 2,000 followers. And we want right. to thank all of you guys for coming thank back you so week much after for week. Following us. Seriously, in the comments, so we have sweet. Such a good time. We do have a good we time. We have a good time together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I get to come here once a week, which is. And she's I'm like, wait, when she walks in, she's like, what did you get? What's oh my new? god! And What's then she, her arms are always full of yarn. <laughs> I know. She doesn't leave empty-handed ever. 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 I don't. I've never, never left here without yarn. No. No. She always gets yarn, and she's like, she collects. <laughs> my poor husband. He knows when I leave that I'm coming home with a bag full of yarn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So we'll start a yeah. thread in the Ravelry group for Do You Knit, mm -hmm. and we just want to see what three skeins you know, of yarn skeins of yarn you would put together for mm -hmm. the shawl. For the shawl. And then. Um, We'll next weekend, we'll do generator. a drawing. Random generator. Yeah, we'll do random generator. Uh -huh. We can do it next Saturday. Yeah, we can put the thread up tonight. Okay. You know, and okay. start it. So you got something. until next Friday night at midnight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you would do for the Oracle Shawl, and we'll give you the pattern. pattern. Thank you. All right. That's great. So stay tuned. We've got um, a special, special guest, guest coming. Mm -hmm. I wonder if his yellow Porsche has arrived yet. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Some people like sitting in that car. <laughs> Stephen West, especially. With his long I want to drive it. <laughs> we've got to teach him how to drive on that. Oh, yeah, that was another Oh, yeah, thing. we have to do the driving thing. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, crazy. he's not going to be back till January, uh -huh. so. Oh, and then it'll be icy. Where am I? Yeah, going? right. So <laughs> next next spring, maybe you'll see mm -hmm. that. And thaw out. All right, uh -huh. so we're going to take five. Thank you. And then you'll see uh, our special mm -hmm. guest. Yeah, All right? Yeah. All right. So today we have a special guest, and he's not one that you normally see on podcasts in the fiber community. I mean, he may be on other podcasts. Oh, he we has been know. on other podcasters in Edinburgh, but... Oh, all right, that's yeah. right. Uh -huh. Okay, so... And I've been on the street. I've been on uh, <laughs> CNN uh, and some other Morning Joe. Oh, you have? I have been on well, Morning Joe. Well, let's tell Joe. everyone who you are. <laughs> <laughs> this is Karen's husband. Mr. Do You Knit, otherwise Posniak. known as Fred Posniak. We mm -hmm. call him Paz. Mm -hmm. He's the original Paz. He's the original. Everyone else mm -hmm. is just, you know, right. an extension. I married into it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you fact, call? My license plate said Paz. Yeah, when we first Did met, yeah. his, his license plate said Paz, P-O-Z. Well, how did you guys meet? Let's start at the beginning here. Ugh. Let's get the whole story of the Paz There's a whole people. story. We, I was 20 when I met him on a blind date. Mm -hmm. Well, Who my friend, my, my friend Brenda at the time, and he was friends with her boyfriend, and they went to college together or something, and then um, we met. Like, I didn't, uh, first I needed to see if I liked him first before yeah. I'd go anywhere with him. So it was a kind of blind date. A kind of blind at her house, and then we went out the following weekend. Mm -hmm. And then two weeks later, I was going to Bermuda with my parents on a cruise, 
And he said to me, and I only met him like two weeks. He goes, don't go. <laughs> what are you going for? I go, I'm going on a cruise. <laughs> if you're here when I come back, you're here. Well, he's still here after 39 years. 39? Oh, next I know each other one? 39 years. And we've never had a fight. <laughs> really? Like, really? <laughs> that he won. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we met on a blind date. Mm -hmm. so, so what was your dynamic? Like, you, you were a stay-at-home mom. For a long right. Time? Um, we got married. I was 22. He was 23. The funniest thing is you guys also. Like knew right away. Well, no, but also <laughs> the funniest thing that was kind of funny that when I met him and he goes, he goes, when's your birthday? And I go March 16th. And he, I go, well, when's yours? He goes March 17th. And I went, oh no, you're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> and he took out his driver's license, <laughs> and he's a year older than me, and we were born in the same hospital too. Oh my God, really? That's right. Same no. bed. No, <laughs> <laughs> but we were born at Brooklyn Jewish Hospital in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. oh, and we're in the God. same, a year and a day apart. That's awesome. And one, one day a year, we're the same age. <laughs> one day, <laughs> which, right? Which means you're old. <laughs> no, no you're but so anyway, and that's, yeah, and that's, <laughs> Look at her eyes that was it. That's how we met. Mm -hmm. And so your dynamic was that you went to work and you were home with the kids for a long time, right? Right. I didn't have my first daughter till I was 25. Okay. But we were married and young. That's are, what you do. Two daughters. Two daughters. Um, Marissa and Amanda. Mm -hmm. Marissa is now 34 and married. And Amanda's 29 and she lives in the city. And Marissa lives in New Jersey. So they're five mm -hmm. years apart. Five years. Five years and four days. Oh, really? They're close to? Mm -hmm. June 4th and June 9th. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, yeah. We do things like that, I guess. We do it as a family. <laughs> do it as a family. Oh, yeah. So you have your birthdays and then the kids' birthdays. They have birthdays. their birthdays. Oh, my gosh. They're Jim, That's awesome. Gemini's. Well, let's be yeah. clear. Every day in the Pozniak household is a birthday. <laughs> Every day. It's a celebration. <laughs> what are you going to do? Nice. Well, I mean, and this guy, his personality, and you guys together must be hysterical mm -hmm. to live with. I sometimes. Mean. Sometimes we can get on each other. <laughs> well, everyone does. You but, do. When yeah. you're married, yeah. what are you going to do? So then... So then there's this fiber journey that came into your mm. marriage, right? When did she start knitting? Like, when did you start knitting? Oh, oh so you could start 2004. Right, I bought you a, uh, a knitting lesson mm -hmm. at a store to remain unnamed. And uh, she took it. Mm -hmm. And then it's funny, as you know, from the outside looking in, I would hear the story of how she literally took over and everybody would want to see her and talk to her and... Uh, she's always had that uh, customer service persona. Because mm -hmm. I worked in retail. In mm -hmm. retail. As a matter mm -hmm. of fact, uh, you had worked at The Gap as a personal shopper. No, a banana or a A banana yeah, or a A personal shopper, a banana. Cool. Especially in this one here in town in Westfield. Mm -hmm. And I just used to run these kids wild because they would have somebody clean the fitting room for me and do all that. And all they said was sell. I would sell my little part-time job, mm -hmm. and then the gap, you know, bananas the gap, and they'd have little rewards. Oh, how many shoes can you sell? You know, like, and I, yeah, I and every I time you too. did that, you'd get like, I don't know, three, four dollars a pair of shoes, and I'd be like beating these kids, or 85 pairs in like one month. I was like, that's my mad money. That's my mad money. And with the mad money, I would just keep going to the knitting store and buy yarn and learn everything I could of the craft. So mm -hmm. I'd sit at the knitting store two, three days a week because I was only working part time, something to do. Mm -hmm. And because um, the kids were already out of the house or whatever in college and out. And I just needed to absorb everything. Like, how do you do this? And how do you do that? I would take classes or I would learn or, and then I would go to, re not retreats, but I would go to stitches and I would go all over and I wanted to learn everything there was. Mm -hmm. So the minute that you hit the knitting community, you just went Took, right into yeah. it. Yeah. And then I, I, I said, I could read a knitting pattern? That's insane. And I understood it. That yeah. was even crazy. But I took it to the next level. Every time I learned something, I needed to do that and do that. And then Ravelry came out in 2007. And I think I'm Ravel, Ravelra 2000 or something. Oh, yeah, they give you the numbers. Yeah, I'm 2000. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I remember they used to say numbers That was pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm in. before Stephen West. Because you had to be invited to. into it, I think. No, there was something in Interweave Magazine you had to sign up for. Because oh, okay. when it comes out, and then they sent you an email, and I joined, and I was Ravelra 2000 or something. Ravelry has changed. Knitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Definitely. I just love it. And it changed everything. So whatever new came up, I had to knit it. I needed the yarn. It had to be that exact way. So she was always knitting. Oh, constantly. Okay. And then started teaching at the same store where I learned to Did knit. Did you make him anything? No, no. I don't knit for him. <laughs> no. Uh -oh. Do you want anything? No. No. Uh, actually, I do want something. <laughs> what would you like? What do I want? I don't know. A few kind words. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I want. 
No. I, I get what I get mm -hmm. is watching her her pleasure. From mm -hmm. what yeah. And it's then, nice, right? Yeah, oh, we it, find it's... someone. Right. And then we moved. And yeah. then he goes, if we move, he goes, I'm going to give you money for a, a store. Mm hmm. And, and so we that's were, how it started. That's how it, it started. Idea? It was his idea to start a store? No, I wanted a store. You wanted a store. I wanted okay. it. And then he said, well, we'll figure it out and we'll see what's going to happen. And he hooked me up with some real estate guys in Hoboken. And these guys didn't know anything what I wanted. Mm. You know, because I don't think a man really, a real, a real estate agent doesn't really understand a knitting store. Mm. I, because there's just so many aspects of what you need in that store and what you want to... They don't really understand it. Yeah, they think it's just a room with yarn in it. But a it male realist, a unless he knows how to knit, they mm -hmm. don't understand it. I come it. home one day and she says to me... Eight weeks living in Hoboken. Eight, eight weeks uh, that... I found something. I found I a like. store, mm -hmm. I have a lease, and... No, uh, I didn't have the lease, but I want you to... What do you think? Right. Because okay. you're... Fred's in real estate, and I wanted to know, what do you think? But I learned so much from him in real estate, like leases and square footage and like how much this should cost and the space and all of that so, so. you knew what you were looking for mm -hmm. right. you and, then, get it. and then you know, take five take five <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> sometimes the phone rings and you know yeah it gets a little customer hectic service here. oriented here mm -hmm. so I don't remember what we were talking about now. I think we were talking about oh, you. When, she start, when you opened up the Hobo. store in Hoboken. Right, store. and I asked him about the lease and stuff like that. And we were only living there eight weeks mm -hmm. when I found a store. The rent was really crazy high. Um, but I did it. And it was like, I just wanted him to be proud of me. Aww. It, it was like, not that he would ever say anything. Like, I didn't want to lose that type of money, you know, to open yeah, a store. It's, it's a lot of money. Store, yeah. And, um... I just never want him to be disappointed in me. Oh. It's the truth, though, because yeah. we worked hard for the money and all of that, and it's, yeah, it's and true. I That's just worked not. really hard at it. And I had, like I said, I've told I think Christy Glass or something. We, you know, I had all the manufactured yarns and stuff. And then coming into 2013, I went to Vogue Live and met a few companies and started bringing in indies. That was it. Mm -hmm. That exploded. That was it. Um, and that was it. And then I hated Hoboken, and I didn't want to stay there any longer. I missed... How was business in Hoboken? It was enough for me to pay the rent. My rent was $3,000 a month. Mm -hmm. And I was just getting by the skin of my teeth. Mm -hmm. And it so. used to stress me. But um, I did it. I had no debt, no credit card debt. And I just kept going on and on and on. And I just hated Hoboken. I was depressed. Yeah. I'm going to be really honest. I was depressed. I missed my friends. Yeah. My friends were all here in the suburbs. And it was lonely because Hoboken stores don't open till they don't open at 10 a.m. They open at 12, and they're open till 9 at night. That wasn't me. No, those aren't hours that are really good. It for wasn't feasible for me, but I let it. I made it work mm -hmm. for well, that I was one year. Before, out of something bad, moving to Hoboken, look what happened. Yeah, Those my friend happened. found the store for me. I was looking from that January 2013. I opened 2012, mm -hmm. August, and this was just my five-year anniversary. And we are having a big anniversary party. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> anyway, I um, January came. I went with a realtor every d Monday when I, the store was closed, and she would take me around looking outside of Hoboken, mm -hmm. north, north, like, part, you know, the north other Jersey? way. North Jersey, that way. Mm -hmm. I never came here. And then my friend Rose... She's a realtor for Weikard in Summit. And she said, I found this awesome place in Westfield. And I was like, okay. <laughs> there wasn't a question. I just did it. I didn't care. I love it here. I know, but I didn't care. There was another knitting store in town. I just didn't care. Mm -hmm. I had to make myself happy. Yeah. And I can't worry about other people. And I have to do what's good for me and my business. And that's what I did. And so you guys moved out of Hoboken because of the business? or and, and because No, no, we were, we were going to move. But you were planning on Yeah, I just ha had okay. it. And we also I had an incident in Hoboken, Walk and Ruby. We had already bought a house and we were moving. It was just well, we had already made the commitment. We already made already. the commitment. Yeah. We were so moving. It just and that was just my last two weeks there. And I had you I had got it. in the car at 7 o'clock in the morning with Ruby. And we were already here. Mm -hmm. We already opened here in June. This was August. I had to get out of Hoboken. I was suffocating. I was hysterical. Put the dog in the car and was here at 7 o'clock in the morning and drove from Hoboken and locked the door and didn't leave the store. I just barricaded myself in the store. It was just so frightening. That so but look where you wound look up. Look where I wound up. We're here four years in this space. I do need larger space. Wow. I do. No, I am going to say that. And I don't know what's going on. You know, like I have a two-year lease. My lease is up this spring, mm -hmm. uh, 2018. My lease is up. 
So if anybody knows of a great location, you can mm -hmm. reach out to K-Pod. Right, because I'm going to, uh, what do you call it, um, look for a bigger space. I can do it. I think you can. I can. I need it. I want new space. Um, I want a little bigger, you know, um, and we'll see what happens. We need so, more yarn. But I'm not. <laughs> I know. I we will just never need more yarn in our I'm lives. not closing. No. Oh, my gosh. No. I take it Don't even me. talk no, about I that. No, I won't close. Uh -uh, yeah. I need bigger space, yeah. so we're talking about it because the business is phenomenal. Right, yeah, so, so what's it like being married to someone who's the, the first lady of fiber? I mean. Well, you know, it's, it's interesting. In Edinburgh, to, right? in that, well, the first thing is, the first thing I see in the morning when I get up so Karen goes out, gets up early, you know, 4 o'clock in the morning, there's a big cup of coffee. I go to Dunkin' Donuts at 4.40. For me. Oh, my God. And she's on the... I'm going to sleep then. And she's on the computer. The last thing I see before we go to bed is my wife on the computer. Mm -hmm. So she works seven days a week, 24-7. She's the master of social media. She is. Absolutely. And there's another story. So when we... She started the business, I said, well, why don't you talk to my public relations people? Why don't you talk to my advertising, you know, these people out in New York? And she said, no, you know, I'm going to do it myself. Mm -hmm. They and, don't know me. And you, they don't know a, me. You've done a phenomenal job. So that's been great. But even coming from, like, you didn't have another store or work in, you know. Retail. Yeah, I just you knew worked retail. retail but you, I just that's knew. not right, but I knew. Things, no, know? no, no. And, yeah, and, and you just figured it out. I figured it out at 55. I figured out how to do everything. Yeah. Well, again, I just kept going on the internet. You have a passion for what she does. Mm -hmm. You do. And it, it, it's evident and I see it. So, you know, I can't be any prouder, obviously, and I'm always, I always talk about that. But what really, really kind of takes me back to a just being amazed is so we'll travel and we'll go to one of the trade shows and she's nice enough to invite me <laughs> and of course I walk two you steps you carry her bags I walk two <laughs> steps behind yes. so people come over to her and they're enamored it's like talking to it's a all rock over the world. all over right? the rock star and of mm -hmm. course you know the, 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 the textbook is we were on the jitney in Edinburgh going to the plane and I had a do you knit pin my do on, you knit pin my and there was a pins. couple holding a the on pole, the pole, we're holding looking poles, at and me. I have shopping bags. And she, she said, do you knit? You know, are you with do you knit? And then I go, well, there's Mrs. Do you knit. And, and the she woman, screamed she was, <laughs> oh <my God>. no. <laughs> in Edinburgh because she had just gone also to the festival, the Yarn mm -hmm. Festival, but didn't realize I was standing next to her, you know, and she was like, she almost fainted on this little bus going to our plane. So It was kind of hard. So she's meeting, you know, there are people who enjoy what she does. They get a good feel from it. But the other thing is, really, she ha we've met, first of all, we've done enormous amount of traveling, traveling. as you know. Mm -hmm. The past year. Which has been driven. Yeah, it's been fun to watch. I love it. Driven love by the it. business. Yeah, you know, it is Which true. is great. Mm -hmm. But we have met, and I'm only looking at this from the outside in. You know, she looks at it a little differently. She's, A, met some incredibly nice people. Really, you know, warm people people that work for her, her mm -hmm. customers, friends and family, my, so, and it's you know, just become a... Dyers and, you know, my it's passion, a wonderful, wonderful hedgehog, community. you know, I was right. so awesome to meet her last year when we went, and she's, we just became friends, we came, became instant friends, mm -hmm. and she's my daughter's age, Yeah, she's just lovely, they're sweet, so hospitable, and... Um, we had a ball in Ireland. We had a ball in Ireland yeah. for the second time, yeah, like and I'm just going to keep going. Right. I just so tell really us about Edinburgh because a lot of people want to go to the Edinburgh yarn, yarn festival. festival. Yes, and it's it's a trip. I mean, it's I, not yeah, it's a trip. I mean, this year I think it's around my birthday, like March 16th. Another or birthday. Oh, and yeah. then his birthday. But it's a big we'll have birthday to celebrate. It's a big birthday for me. I'll yeah. be 60. Just He's already Paris 60. First. Maybe we'll go to Paris first. <laughs> Good, you can pick me up some stuff at Love Academy that I want. <laughs> Tara said, maybe we'll go to Paris first. We have to celebrate Yarn Pim yes. and then fly into Edinburgh. But yeah, I already booked my hotel. We haven't done the flight stuff yet. And um, yeah, I love it because I like the European yarns. Yeah, I, love I like it. how you get a lot of stuff from overseas. I love it. But what's it like going with her as someone who's not a knitter? I walk how many steps ahead of them? Well, <laughs> you know, it, it's so funny. It's your bodyguard. It's watching, <laughs> it's so funny. It, you know, with all different, it's like watching a rock star. It really is. No, you know, it's people, like, and she's very gracious. Mm -hmm. You know, my wife can be a little tough at times. Oh, she was hugging my mom and I. We first started coming to the store. My mom comes outside. She goes, she just hugged me. <laughs> I'm like, I love it here. Uh, <laughs> she's, she's very great. So it, 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 it 
just watching her enjoy what it's not a job mm -hmm. which is just it, it just it, mm -hmm. it oozes from mm -hmm. her and you know the it's first time we went years ago the first time Cameron went we went to the sheep and wool festival oh that's when I was Rinder. a knitter mm -hmm. right not a yarn store and I walked around and when she said she was going to do knitting you know I always had the vision you know my mother was a knitter mm -hmm. you know the 80 year old the woman with ladies knitting, knitting circles yeah but Young people knit. Yeah. Men knit. It's just a diverse uh, group that knit. <laughs> but it was just, it was great. I mean, just, they were very friendly. Mm -hmm. Knitters are friendly. And we we we've people. adopted Stephen West. He's yes. our other son, the yeah. son we never had. Mm -hmm. He stays with us. We love him. Fred just adores him. That w It was funny because when Stephen left in uh, June or something, or in the winter, and, and he was sitting at the dining room, you know, he had dinner with us, and then Fred comes home late one night. He goes, where's Stephen? I go, he had to leave. He was disappointed. <laughs> Stephen was so gone. Nice. He's right. just but a it's nice funny to But it's funny to come home and Stephen and my wife are sitting on the couch. They're knitting. Yeah, <laughs> of <laughs> course. Well, Stephen doesn't do anything else. I'm surprised he eats. <laughs> he eats. Oh, he can yeah. eat. Yeah, oh. yeah, I got him a couple of pizzas and He's stuff. He's a big guy. Yeah, He's big. And he has his own room with us. Does he? <laughs> right. And he has stuff in the basement. He has, he has yarn in the basement. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And he's one of the few people that have been in the inner sanctum of Karen's stash. Yes, I know. I have not been invited the closet. yet. I do feel he knows. He already knows where the closet is. And he goes, and I go, you can have whatever you want, Stephen. You know that. And then some days, he just doesn't want to come to the store with me if he's staying with us. Yeah. He hangs in my office. He's, he's and Fred feeds, <laughs> Fred feeds him. Fred feeds him. But all these people, you know, all these just knitters. Just genuine. Have, you know, mm -hmm. they've kind of gravitated to her. Mm -hmm. vice. And it, it's just, uh, it's a pleasure to watch. From, you know, I, I mean, I'm not a knitter. Uh, but it's just great. You know, she's taken, again, this passion and made a successful business. And I always say to her, one of the things she does is most, and I say this with all due respect, most knitting stores run their business as a hobby. Mm -hmm. You know, it's something to get out of the house, the husband lets them do it. She runs her business as, not as a hobby, but as a business. Yeah, you are and very she, professional. And she's very dedicated to the craft. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm happy. So when I retire, I'm going to work for her. She's going to drive the yarn bus. I'd like a big Mercedes pink yarn bus. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> pink yarn bus. Of course. Lord, with the Lord hanging out of it. The Lord. The Lord we did not <gasps> tell you. Oh. This is Lord Posniak. Now, I think we should talk about this <laughs> yes. this okay. story because when they were in Edinburgh, last summer. Am I summer. Right? Some yeah, Edinburgh. 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 All right, last, so when they were in Edinburgh. Last summer. Um, apparently, Tara. you can become royalty if you'd yes. like to. That's right. And so we are sitting... He's a lord. With the in lord. the presence of royalty. Mm -hmm. Tell but us the story. Like, where did it come from? Yeah, you, know, you went to Edinburgh with your whole family. Your yeah, and then my friend Tara, family. who comes, you know, okay. we're friends who works at Vogue with me and stuff. She's my friend, and she has a home in Scotland. Mm -hmm. So her and her kids, um, Garrett, were coming last summer when we were in Edinburgh. They wanted to meet up. So we hung out for a few days, and she was talking about her other son, Henry, is a lord. And I go, a lord? He goes, I want that. How do you get to be that? <laughs> so if you remember from the Kardashians. Uh, lord Disick. Right, Lord Disick. Yes. You, there's a way, I guess you go on the internet or something, and they figured out how. And you could buy a plot of land, like a one-by-one one square. And I don't know much I'm it a land, I'm it a land was baron. A, He's a land baron. <laughs> and um, he owns a piece of property, probably this big, and you become a lord. You have to pay, and so that was his sixth. You have to own land for it. No, I didn't know. No, this. you fill out this whole paper and thing. No, you, but you have to own the, the little right, piece of land. Right, right, and, and then, then you're he, a lord of that. He's land. a lord of right. that land. Lord of did, did, you, did you name it, or did they have the names you just? I think by? it has a name. Is it, it has on your card? Lord of so wait, Glenmire. Is there anything Glenmire? on here you don't want to see here? Oh, it's got the longitude and latitude. Okay, so here we go, Lord Fred Posniak here. And, and that know, was his 60th birthday present this year from Tara. He's a lord. That's And hysterical. then the funny thing is you can legally change your name. And put on your passport, too, lord. for lord in the front. You so the should best totally part is, do that. <laughs> and then when you do your um, airline tickets, they say you should do that, too. But first, the best he's got part, when, I guess when his passport goes up, he should use that. And the best part is I always get uh, reservations at the best restaurant because you call and say, you say know, lord, lord Fred Posniak is there. <laughs> so. so you are Lady k -Paz. I don't know. <laughs> You're just K pause. I'm K pause. Right? That's okay. Mm -hmm. so, so we do that. That's it. So mm. what's next for you guys? Do you have any? Do you guys ever plan things for the business together, or is it just all her? Do you, you ever give her ideas? Not, I had a boyfriend who used to tell me how to run my business, and I it drove me nuts. But and then later, he dumped him. Oh, he dumped me. <laughs> <laughs> 
people. Now Some she, people don't like strong women. No. Can't well, help it. Well, you know, the, the great thing is she, It's I watched this from a business perspective, and she's doing plans for 8, 12, 18 months out. This mm -hmm. is what we're going to do. What am I going to do? What am I going to do next spring? So now I'm looking, like I say, I want to move. I want to get a bigger store. So that's my... My next thing, I start to look at real estate. Right. And then all these knitting designers want to uh, really do trunk shows and as mm -hmm. assimilate their successful And do dyers. They all want to be here. Right. And then the, Yeah, the, people have asked her to carry the yarn because once it's here, a lot it's a, such a broader audience that sees the yarn. Because I am just probably one of the most sought after. I'm just going to sort after on Instagram mm -hmm. and because I just do all my own social media and it's all day long. They want their yarn in the store. Mm -hmm. And it got to the point where, you know, I like to hand pick whom, whom or what I want in the store. You know, and I like that now they come to me. I don't have to ask. Mm -hmm. But it took me five years to do that. That's not that long. I yeah. know. No, you yeah. know, 70% of new businesses go out of business within the first three years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to celebrate your five-year anniversary... Yeah. Oh, no, I bought you pink roses and I forgot them at home. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, oh well. Um, Congratulations. Thank we you. love you. We love that Thank the store so is celebrating much. such a milestone. Yeah. yeah. Which is great. It's yeah. good. You know? Mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm, I'm it looks like you've got such a great home unit. So you have fun at the store with your, your family here, and then you go home to a wonderful family yeah. also. That's good. So it's where's good. our next uh, holiday trip? I don't know. I think we're going to think for March. All your trips have to do with fiber, right? You're, of course. You're, I just want to go here. and No, right. there's no getting started. We actually looked at a house in Ireland. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, we did. It we did, were there. It didn't work out, but mm -hmm. uh, we were thinking of doing well, we that. We might have to do a podcast from there if you ever do buy something. I can't wink. I can't wink. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> is she winking? <laughs> but yeah, we're good. All's we'll, good. We'll do that. And then, you know, hats off to the people that work for Cameron on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. You know, they have your back and they mm -hmm. take care of it's, it's a nice camaraderie, mm -hmm. which is rare to see. Yeah, it's good. The girls work them. hard, yeah. and I met so many nice people that only want to work here, too. <laughs> I don't work here, but I tag things when I have to, you know. Oh, I could no, use no, another this... person in the store. So if you're interested and you're in the area, <laughs> give me a call. I could use another person in the store. Yeah. So. That means you wouldn't hire me? No. Okay. Mm. Well, all right. The Lord. The Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good it's is all there all anything good. else you want to tell us uh, no you know it's funny I was thinking what else I would like to address but she, it's it's all k -pos. it really is it, it, I, I, if, I wouldn't be any more proud if I did it myself mm -hmm. I mean that's really she, Aww, you know, that's she, thank you and she's dedicated and you know she'll be supporting me pretty soon so <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm all good Right? And by the way, she has great taste, not just in men. <laughs> right? Like, he's wearing a white dinner jacket. Look at this. him. He's a fancy fan. No, you just cut your head off. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> a white Don't dinner do jacket. That. Look at this head of hair. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. A silver fox. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. But it, it's all good. Do you have any questions for me? No. no? I know them all. <laughs> oh, yeah, you write the script. Well, I met you at, at Vogue Knitting Live, and I just, I, you know, I didn't know you were a husband because I had just started coming to the store mm -hmm. not long right. before that. Mm -hmm. And how, how sweet you guys are to each other. It's just really nice to support a family business where you can tell the people really love and support each other. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. that or I'm afraid? I'm not really sure which, which, which one <laughs> Don't <it> is. tell. <laughs> Don't tell. No, 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 no. Not at all. Yeah. And then, you know, that's the other thing. I mean, I look at what goes on at, at uh, Vogue, which was my two years ago, when we first it, did was, it. Uh -huh. was like a rock concert. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was insane yeah. what was going on. Well, we have so many more followers now, and it's going to be awesome, our new booth. and Right in the front. Right yeah. in the front. We have four year. booths. We're all going to be there. you got to stop do by. do you knit only. <laughs> do you and, knit? And her rock stars. Mm -hmm, 2.0. 3.0. This will be my third, your third year. year. Third yeah. year. Four, um, we're still on the sixth floor right near the stage. We have four booths. Mm-hmm. Um, right down the middle, and if you come in the store, I'll let Danielle later take a picture of our booth. I have it posted under Stephen yeah, so West's picture, it. so you can find us. And yeah, I understand Vogue sold out. I will never give up this space. No, they're mine. That's the best space. Mm -hmm. And plus, you have the Lord. People are going to come Lord. meet the Lord this then year. Then you're going to meet right? the Lord. He'll autograph the. He'll band. wear his white dinner jacket. Okay. And you know, the cool thing also, I mean, she has already, you know, Vogue is six months away. Mm -hmm. She's already laid everything out, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, we're working on minute. now. My graphic designer, we got to get everything together for the booth. 
You're, so. you're very, very smart when it comes to all of this stuff, planning ahead. And that's why it's hard, you're always a so. step ahead mm -hmm. of everyone else. Sometimes it's really hard, but, you know, I just keep going. Yeah. yeah. The only yeah. sad part about her success is she doesn't cook anymore. Oh. I don't like to cook. <laughs> <laughs> I right? really don't enjoy it. Right. Well, it's, it's only two of us Do you cook? House. No. No, he can't. Well, when you retire, you can take cooking classes. Lessons, that could be right. your passion. Oh, sure. mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll send you to Ireland to Bally Malou, that cooking school at that beautiful inn. Oh, There's that even one. stuff on the Isle of Capri in, in Italy. You Italy. Go in. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. That's where we want to go, Italy, maybe next year. Maybe we'll year. do that. Have you ever year. been to Capri? No, never been. <gasps> We're going to Italy, I think, next summer. Yeah. That we'll there are two places I've been on Earth <laughs> that actually that live up to the hype. Paris so, was one of them. If you haven't been to Paris, Paris I mean, Paris. all the hype, it, it totally meets the hype. Yeah, Paris is And awesome. Positano, Capri, Amalfi mm -hmm. Coast. Mm -hmm. right, so it's, we'll have to do that. it's incredible. That's where we take everybody. We the take whole, everybody. We take the whole Fred clan. takes the whole family. The whole family. <laughs> <laughs> Gemma Darlings is now adopted. Stephen so West, are you coming yellow. with us now? <laughs> and this, but we're going to need someone do to order wine for you. I know how to speak Italian. <laughs> We're gonna get everybody a tag that says Posniak Tours, Tours, and then my tag is gonna say I'm Posniak. <laughs> no. Can I be Depos? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're just gonna gather people. And that's all. But it, it, it's all good. Mm -hmm. So you know, I appreciate you having me. Most, and hopefully, I won't get cut out. <laughs> no, no. No, but it's all good. I, I'm so glad you stopped by. I it's did. so nice to meet the mm -hmm. man behind the women. That's right. It's but, good. Uh, you know, behind every great man is a greater woman. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is your and bottle in your like Fred? You Blair had bottle. to have a champagne bottle. Champagne bottle as a prop. Cool. Could we celebrate? Put your glasses on. Mm -hmm. Come on, show us how oh, cool his you shades. Are. He likes to wear mm -hmm. sunglasses indoors. That's all. So there's. There's pot. This way you don't know what you don't see the soul. My uh, soul through my <laughs> eyes. Oh my god. Oh, you guys well, are wonderful. Well, thank, thank you so thank much you for, for stopping by. Stopping okay, I'm uh, I'm out of here. I have to go take care of Ruby now. Yes, oh Ruby. Ruby Ruby's had doing eye better. Surgery, yeah. And I'm sure that, you know, Lord Posniak here will be stopping by periodically. So if you have any questions and for him. And you'll see him at Vogue Live. Yes, come see yes. him at Vogue. Right. He'll, the guy he'll, he'll autograph for you. He'll autograph a bag for you. If you have any questions, though, put them in our comment mm -hmm. section and we'll bank them for later mm -hmm. because I'm or sure you're going to be regular. Or if you're nice to me, I'll get you to the head of the line so you don't have to wait to pay. He did that to Christy Glass. Yes. He let yes, her go. I, pay. I was there with her. I was uh -huh. talking to her. I, I introduced them. I yeah. said, This is Karen's husband. She's like, Oh. The head right. of the line. Go to Fred. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm out of here. All right. Thank you nice for stopping you all. by. Thank you. thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. Oh, boy. Bye. Be well. Thank, thank you. you. It's You're always welcome. nice seeing you. Mwah. And make sure you order a Gemma Darling kit. <laughs> they're going no, fast. My kit. <gasps> they're going fast. Oh, no. Thanks for stopping by, Lord. And Gemma. When you see the yellow Porsche, you know the Lord is coming. Wait, nobody else is here. Bye. Thanks for having me. Of course. Bye-bye. Bye. There he goes, the man, the myth, the legend, the Lord. All right, so we hope you enjoyed meeting our special guest. Thank he you. is a character. He's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yes, He's but so never funny. a dull moment. No, never a dull moment in my house. He's, He's such good. a kind, kind person. Like, I've only met him a couple times, and I'm, I just want to put him in my pocket and take mm -hmm. him home with me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all for thank tuning you. in to uh, episode six, and we'll be back with some trunk shows. Mm -hmm. In the next couple weekends. Yeah, we'll have to put that on the down bar because we do have so much coming up. We have up. so much coming, coming up. up. I actually mm -hmm. have to remember to do that. Yeah. I'm going to do mm -hmm. that for you guys. So okay. if you want to visit the store, pick a trunk show weekend and come meet someone. <laughs> Following come next three family. weekends into Labor Day, we have trunk shows right yeah. before Labor Day. And so. then your party. Mm -hmm. My party. All right. Thanks for spending an hour with us, guys. Thank Happy you. knitting. Thank you. Bye. 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 And we're out. And we're out. <laughs> <laughs>
hysterical. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was funny. And I'm leaving with my bag of yarn. <laughs> <laughs>